Omid and Mistress Megan cursed the royal family by releasing Endgame on the same day as historic fire in Windsor Castle. We all know that Meghan Markle is the culprit behind Omid Scobie's new book, Endgame. Not only was it an attack on the royal family because of its content, the release date was also deliberately planned. Earlier this week, Omid Scobie, who released Finding Freedom with Caroline Durand in 2020, will release a second insider book on the royal family on November the 21st. Is it a coincidence? Scobie's releasing Endgame on the same day as the historic fire in Windsor Castle. On the 20th of November 1992, a fire broke out in Windsor Castle. It destroyed 115 rooms, including nine state rooms. The fire started in Queen Victoria's private chapel, where a faulty spotlight ignited a curtain next to the altar. Within minutes, the blaze was unstoppable and had spread to St George's Hall next door. The fire was first spotted around 11.30 in the morning, and within three hours, 225 firefighters from seven counties were battling the flames. The fire was finally extinguished at 2.30am on Saturday the 21st of November, but it had burnt for 15 hours. Experts said that the title End Game and the release date on a castle fire are a curse from Meghan and a henchman to the monarchy. This plastic dude better be ready to fall on his sword when karma happens to him, because it will, or he better have incriminating evidence against his master. Also, if this book contains new information, everyone will know that Meghan and Harry are the sources. Scobie hasn't got much to write about the British royal family until Madame shows up at the castle. Harry's just too dumb to piece the strings together, Good riddance that he's now gone from the British royal family. He's always been the weakest link in the chain, mentally and morally. Omid Scobie was a junior tabloid journalist and was never a member of the royal rota of trusted journalists. He's an imposter when he claims he's a royal journalist. When he posts William and Kate stuff, it's always bland, no photos and not hyped up to try and make him look neutral. Anything with Meghan in it is like a montage with emojis. There's nothing neutral about his reporting on the British royal family, he's in Meghan's back pocket. A few days ago, Scobie talked about the many royal tours that he joined. There's no record of Scobie's in any royal tour because he's not a member of the royal rota and was banned by the palace. None. He's a big-time liar exactly like his mistress. Marcus dated Omid. Omid and Lainey know each other. Lainey pictured with Meghan Markle, and of course, Markle is best friends with Marcus. It all comes full circle. Remember Harry saying in a London court that he knows of Scobie, which is Harry implying that he and his wife have heard of the name, but they've never met, nor have they ever collaborated on anything. Which contradicts the book Finding Freedom, which is co-written by Scobie and Caroline Durand. And we all know that the book is basically this one's wife's diary.